Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J and today I'm going to be doing the review of the Star uh, X920. This is also known as the HTC Butterfly X920. I got this phone from uh, dhgate.com. I paid uh, $251 plus shipping. So it came all together, came up to be $265. Now I don't regret um, every penny that I spent on this phone because it is a great device. Uh, for the, for those of you who watch my other videos, this is my first time doing a review on a phone that has MTK6589, which is a 1.2 quad-core CPU. Um, also, it has 1 gigabyte of RAM. Um, it has 8 gigabyte of ROM. And I'm going to prove to you that right now as I go along with the video. Uh, if you go to uh, app to sd which uh, basically transfers your applications uh, from your uh, storage of the phone, which is the RAM, to the regular SD, you can see from the very bottom here that it has 1,008.29 megabytes. Uh, that's equivalent to one gigabyte of, of, uh, of RAM. Also, if we go to settings and we go to storage, we see here as well that it has 0.98 gigabytes of, let me just try to focus this, it has 0.98 uh, gigabytes of RAM, it comes um, with an uh, internal memory of 8 gigabytes and I have installed an external uh, SD card of 8 gigabyte as well. Okay, at the very bottom here, uh, just to go through the uh, physical side of the phone, we have the home button, the back button and the menu button, they're all soft touch buttons and it illuminates just as the um, HTC Butterfly does, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, this is actually the replica of it. The only thing uh, that I didn't like about it is that uh, it didn't come with the HTC logo in the back. Um, here we have the 8 megapixel camera with the LED flash. Here we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, this is the power button. On the side here we had the volume rockers, this is up and down. At the very bottom here we have the US, uh, USB slash charger port. We have the microphone. And on the other side we just have this nice uh, red trim over here but it doesn't have any buttons uh, whatsoever. Uh, at the very front we have the 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, the screen, you probably can't see it here with this camera I'm using right now uh, but the screen is very vivid it's really nice it has a resolution of uh, 1280 by 720 pixels uh, I don't believe it's a uh, Gorilla Glass but again for the price of the phone this is not a bad performing phone okay um, another great thing about this phone is that it already comes with a Play Store installed uh, so you don't have to worry about rooting the phone for now um, also it has a great camera as I mentioned earlier uh, it also comes with uh, the GPS it's working out the box already so you don't have to do any mods uh, it is a very fast phone as you can tell from the screen here it doesn't lag at all all right, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to be performing right now on a Tutu test. Sorry for that, guys. I'm going to be uh, doing a Tutu test. Yes, so yes, you see for yourself how good the uh, score is. This is my previous score, but of course, I'm going to test it again. And it's going to take about a minute. Also, it has great reception. It does support, uh, another great thing that it has, it supports 3G here in the United States. Um, it has a strong Wi-Fi uh, signal. Right now, it's currently at two bars, but for the most part, um, I get all, bar, uh, all bars at all time. All right, and uh, let's just wait until this finish up. It's almost done already. This has been so far out of all the clones I have reviewed. Uh, this one is the one that has the, the best performance. I mean, I had the Oppo Find 5, had great performance. However, that phone's uh, price was uh, almost $700 versus this one is only $251. Um, also, it comes with Android 4.1.2. It has a dual SIM card. Um, and uh, like I mentioned before, it comes with a SD card slot so you can upgrade the memory.
here we see in the performance let me see if I can show you this right here not a bad performance at all almost done there we go so here I even got a better score as you can see let's see here all right 13 is the score that I got this is great performance uh, by this CPU once again, that's uh, quite amazing. For the price that I paid for the phone, it's not bad at all. All right, and um, another thing I'm going to show you is uh, what I promised you earlier, which was uh, opening the bag just to show you more info. So here we have the battery. Here we have the SIM card slot. It has two of them. And here we have the memory card slot in case you want to upgrade it. Right now, I have inserted a Samsung 8 gigabyte. Let me show you that. As you can see, I have upgraded the memory as well. On the very bottom here, we have the speaker. Okay. Uh, the cover in the back is soft touch. Now, again, I wish that I had the HTC logo on the back. That would have been very nice. Uh, the battery reads uh, 2020 milliamps. Um, it does have a great lasting battery. Now I'm not sure if it's actually that many milliamps. It came with two batteries, so that uh, that helps a lot when you know you're out of your house for quite a while. Um, you know, just have both of them fully charged just in case you need them. The LED flash on the back here is uh, is really bright. Um, it's one of the brightest I have tested on any other clone. Um, so I would say that a lot of people are, are usually asking me what type of clone would I recommend, what type of phone would I recommend and to be honest with you this is among the ones that I would recommend so far out of all the clones I reviewed and it's because of its performance as you saw from the Intuitive test. Um, the next one I'm going to do here is the uh, Quadrant Standard Benchmark. I'm going to also show you the results on this one. This is going to take about another minute. Guys, if you get bored of watching all the steps, you can just fast forward the video until the end of it. So that way you see the results of the test. I will also play two games because uh, I don't want to make this video super long just to show you uh, the performance on games. I will also test the, the, the back camera in just a moment. Right now it's reading 64 frames per second. Here it's reading 53. Alright, so I'll complete it. And this is the result I got. I don't know if you can see that. The, we have the first uh, place is the HTC One X uh, from this test. The next one we has the Asus Transformer Prime. And the third device on the list is this device. As you can see, it says right here your device. So it came third from the list. Not bad performance at all. Alright. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to test the camera now. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. I was testing it earlier, you can tell from there. Alright, uh, let's see. You probably can't appreciate this very well from what you're seeing. Let's see.
Now the focus does need a little work, but overall it's not bad at all. Here's the picture. I don't know if you can see this, but the camera quality is quite impressive. As you can see, it has a lot of zoom, and the picture quality is not bad. Again, you can't see everything from because uh, it's a camera with a camera, but the picture quality is pretty nice. All right. Um, I'm going to also weight this phone just so you see approximately how many grams you can expect it to weight. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me just clear this out. Alright, let me just clear it one more time. And it's about 165 grams, as you can see from, from the list. So it's, it's quite a heavy phone, it's a solid build, it feels really good. Um, now the next test I'm going to do, oh also before I do the game test, I want to go to settings, how they are distributed in the language especially. These are all the languages available for this phone. I'm going to drag them down slowly. These are all the languages available currently for this phone right now. All right. And uh, pretty much it's a regular standard um, Android settings application. It's nothing new to it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check on the videos. Uh, let's go ahead and check on the games. I'm going to open, it's going to be one of them. Okay, it's loading up right now. I'm not really good at this game, as you can tell. You already have a, a basic idea on how it performs. Uh, let me see if I see here another game that uh, we can do. Let's see, let's open Temple Run. As you can see, the sensors work quite well. All right, guys, so game performance is not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to also show you the phone's application. You can see just regular uh, standard Android uh, dialer. Uh, here we have the messaging app as well. All right. Um, we have some applications that come stock for the phone. I'm just going to turn on the flashlight real quick. So you can see it is quite bright. All right. Um, let's see what else. Uh, but here we have the browser. And the browser is pretty quick as well. It's good. Uh, right now I'm on Wi-Fi, but I will also show you without Wi-Fi.
how fast it is. So this is with Wi-Fi right now. Okay. Loading YouTube. Now we're going to turn off Wi-Fi and we're going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to turn it off. And now we're going to load the page one more time. Just so you can notice the difference. I got about 3 megabits of internet. Alright, a little slower, but that's because, of course, I was on Wi-Fi, and now I'm on 3G. I'm going to be doing a speed test. First, I'm going to kill all my tasks. There you go. I'm going to do a network test. This is using 3G. Once again, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, as you can tell from the very top. As you can tell from the speed, it's not bad at all. That's what I'm currently getting with, uh, I have uh, Net10 in the United States, which is a AT&T based company. Alright, so here we have it. All right, I got 6.6, .6, almost uh, 6.7 megabits of internet speed on 3G, which is not bad at all. And I'm once again going to show you that I wasn't connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn it on now. And now you should see the Wi-Fi symbol on the top. So now the Wi-Fi is on. Okay, and I'm going to show you the test with the Wi-Fi on just so that I make things clear. That's with the Wi-Fi on. So as you can see, speed is very different. All right, guys. So uh, that's all I'm going to go with the review. Uh, please let me know whether you have any questions. Uh, uh, subscribe for more. Um, I always uh, going to keep these coming. And uh, once again, this phone is a great buy. Is uh, I mean you can probably tell from the battery. Ever since we started it, the battery is still the same level. We've done so many tests. We even play games. It's not a weak battery, and it comes with two of them as well. So I mean, if you want a great phone for a cheap price, a phone that isn't locked, where you don't have to be committed with an agreement, this is a phone for you. Um, however, you know it's not going to be for everyone, depending of uh, of what phone you previously had. Okay, so. Uh, like I said, uh, please subscribe for more, and uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.